Amy Dowden has big, big plans for 2024, among them winning Strictly. After stepping away from the dance floor, of course, last year, Russia had to undergo treatment for breast cancer. She did, however, I'm sure you saw this, manage a show-stopping appearance during the final. Well, Amy joins me now. I was so glad, because you know, before the final, we talked about, because you've still got that yes. boot on your foot, because you broke oh. your foot, and you were supposed to be in Strictly final, and we weren't sure whether you'd be there, and then, ta-da! Yes. It was a moment, wasn't it? I know, because the production team had just been amazing, and I was meant to have done a whole number, yeah. a group number, um, based on um, a dance about my cancer journey and I was devastated when I broke, broke my foot and I couldn't do it. But being the amazing team and Jason Gilkinson, it. the creative director, <laughs> I, you know, did armography, fanography and just being back there and that adrenaline and that, you know, what I've missed so much. It's your happy much. place. Yeah, That's it made my happy. dancing heart so happy being I back know, because it must be so frustrating for you. Oh. First of all, with having to go through all of the, the, the cancer, you know, going through that anyway, that's hellish. And then things are getting better. And then you break the foot. Yeah. How, how are you in this thing? When yeah. is that When is that going? No, so I go back this afternoon. Okay. And I'll see the fracture clinic. But right. obviously mm. being on chemo, it can delay, you know, your bones healing. It can make your bone density weaker to begin ah, with. Right. Um, so I'll get some answers this afternoon, but I cannot wait for it to come off. <laughs> I know. Are you, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to set it alight or keep it as a souvenir? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm I don't know what to do yeah, with that. I'm not sure, sure what yeah. to do with it. And how, because I know you've been having to have injections against yeah. blood clotting and stuff. So yeah, I've had two blood clots in my arm, one um, on my lungs and at the beginning of December, the doctors, I was rushed in and they were worried it was travelling to the heart, but I'm injecting myself every day and my stomach is black and blue from it. just all bruised with the Yeah. Injection. You've been through it. I know. I'm sure you just thought, you know what, 2023, thanks a bunch, goodbye. Yeah, I, <laughs> Go I really on. did. And actually, on New Year's Eve when you wake up and you see everyone's posts about the year, Yeah. I was actually quite bitter. I'm not surprised. I don't blame you for a nanosecond. Yeah. Who wouldn't be? It's like you, it, it, I thought it was really interesting what you said on social media. You said, I've been robbed. Mm -hmm. I was actually, you know, this year was robbed for me. Yeah. You, you just didn't have the year that you expected. Yeah. Of course you didn't. I had at the beginning of the year so many lovely plans and I was on the Strictly Arena tour and, you know, a honeymoon planned with my husband. And then within a day when I got the news. Your life changed this, right? And it, it doesn't just change for during the treatment or surgery. It changes forever, to be honest with you, does. because it's changed. It has changed me as a person. Mm. It must do. Of course, it must. It changes everything. Yeah. It changes your whole. It's that thing of you know, peace of mind is very underrated. Yeah. But you know, when you're going through something like this, obviously you don't have that because no. your brain is work. What's going to happen? What if? What if? What if? You've and got all these things going my on. My parents, my you know, my family. I see the pain in their eyes. Yeah. You know, the worry that you know. It affected all of us, you know, my husband, my lovely dance school and my students, my young mm. children in the dance school. Yeah, you know, I looked back and I did find, you know, some amazing opportunities that I had. Of course. But also, when I looked back, I thought, I've had cancer, I've lost my hair, I've lost my boob. You know, I've had sepsis and I went into septic shock. I've had blood clots, broke my foot, like, surely. And I, I don't know, I'd, and then you're watching everybody else yes. share these lovely photos and reels. And I was like... You know, I was a bit jealous. <laughs> no, well, I, I love your honesty. I, I think it's fantastic and really refreshing. It really is. But looking ahead to this year, yes. obviously you can't go on the um, Strictly tour, no. which is, we were talking about that with Craig yesterday, weren't we? With yeah. Craig River Hallwood. Can't do that, but you're there in spirit. And I'm sure you'll go along and, and see them and all of that and be part of the gang. But things to look forward to. What are you focusing on? Do you know, I just want to get myself back on that dance floor. And yeah. I would love, you know, yeah, it would be amazing to win Strictly, but... Winning will just be back with the gang, dancing, yeah. doing what I love, in front of the audience with the people I love. Yeah, I, I just, I've missed it so much. And they've missed you. Everyone, everyone in the gang says it's just not the same without you. You know, that, that you're very much at the heart of it. You always have been, you know, ever since you joined. Is there anybody that we can pair you up with to guarantee you winning? Do you know, there's a few people. Go on then, who? Hugh Jackman. Oh, yes, he's available. He's good. Um, uh, yes, he is ben available. Ben Shepherd, I heard, is quite good. Ben Shepherd can, <laughs> has got twinkle toes. Right. Okay. There is, he has a base of, of dancing ability, but there is, I mean, he's like a little bud that needs to flower, yeah. and you are the very person that could bring that out. Yeah. I think so. Can we make that happen? Yeah, let's make if, it happen. You know, because Hugh might be busy, because you know he's doing Wolverine, <laughs> um, and he's, he's sort of doing that. So he <laughs> might, might, might not be able to make it. Just let's just manage our expectations. But Ben Shepherd. Yeah. Let's, let's phone him up after Or this. a fellow Welshie, like Luke Evans. <gasps> Luke! 
Why has Luke yeah. not done it? I know. Why is he not? I've, I've danced for him on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he's so lovely. He's the loveliest man in all yeah. the world. And he's funny and he's, yeah. and he's a good laugh. Oh, you two would go on so well. Would that be the first two Welsh people winning? Yeah. Well, I danced with Colin Jackson for a Christmas special. So you did. But not on the main show. There's right. never been an all Welsh parent because I'm... The only ever Welsh professional. This is a great game to play. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> Who can we pair you up with to make sure you lift the trophy? I think we've got some really good ones there. Yeah. Right, we'll work on it. <laughs> Amy, it's so good to see you. It really is. I know you're going to be working with us throughout yes, the year. thank you so and I much. And cannot wait. It's going yeah. to be great fun um, just to see. We just need you to have some fun. That's what you yeah. need. You deserve it after everything that you've been through. Great to see you. Thank you, Thank Lorraine. you. Thank you so, so much.